I'm Dr. Roger and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. College Board gives us the speed of a lightning bolt in feet per second and they ask for the speed in yards per minute. So this is one of their common conversion of units questions. I have three, 320 million feet per second. So I write feet in the numerator, seconds in the denominator, because per means divide, even with units. I want to convert to yards, so I'm going to multiply by a factor that's equal to 1, and I want feet in the denominator, so I'll put 3 feet in the denominator and 1 yard in the numerator, because 1 yard is equal to 3 feet, so 1 yard over 3 feet is equal to 1, and I'm allowed to multiply by anything equal to 1. The feet will cancel, and that gives me yards per second, but I want yards per minute. So I'm going to cancel seconds. To cancel seconds, I want seconds in the numerator, and I want an expression equal to 1, so that would be 60 seconds equals 1 minute. And again, I'm multiplying by 1, so this does not change the value of my expression. The seconds cancel, and I'm left with yards per minute, which is the units they asked for, yards per minute. So that would be 320 times 60 over 3 in units of yards over minutes, or yards per minute. And you can do that on the calculator, of course, but you can do it without a calculator. As with all the group questions, you don't need a graphing calculator. And in this case, you don't really need a calculator. 60 over 3 is 20, so that's 320 times 20, which 32 times 2 is 64. And you get an extra 0 because it's times 20. And that is in million yards per minute. And I left out the million here, but that's not going to matter in choosing our answer because they didn't give us an opportunity to make that mistake. And 640 million is choice C. You can expect to convert units multiple times on your SAT, typically twice, so make sure you're good with this. And if you don't use the units feet, yards, inches, gallons, etc. Those are typically not found on the international exams, but anytime they are found, College Board will give you the conversion. They don't give you the conversion from seconds to minutes because it's assumed that you have that knowledge. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.